Hey there, fellow broke computer enthusiasts. Ever had that sinking feeling when you accidentally delete an important file and realize you're as broke as a church mouse? Don't panic, my friends. I've got your back with a foolproof guide to recovering those precious files without breaking the bank. First things first, let's check the recycle bin. Moving a file to the bin is just the beginning. When thrown in the bin, a file remains on your computer in a temporary directory. When you empty the bin, you are warned that you cannot undo the action. When you permanently delete something, the physical space inhabited by the file isn't actually emptied. It is just marked as empty, available when new data needs to be stored somewhere. Leaving the recycle bin empty, now we'll use a file recovery software. The tool we're talking about today is called Tenorshare Data Recovery. Just download one, the link is in the description. Installation is a piece of cake, so I'll leave it to you. After you've installed the software, you will be presented with this interface. Here, select the location from where your data was lost. I'll select the recycle bin. Choose Rescan. Now you'll need to select the preferred file type. I only need videos to be recovered, so I'll choose video. From all the lost data, now it'll only scan for potential videos. On pressing the start button, it'll immediately start the examination, looking only for the potential video files to be recovered. The results are mind-blowing. As you can see, a total of 2,700 files are found, which forms a total of 13 gigabytes. Quite amazing, right? As you can see, the files are present in the same order as they were deleted. You can select all the files to be recovered at once, but I'll choose the data folder. I will be recovering a total of 136 files equivalent to 300 megabytes. Before proceeding, you'll need to select a destination folder. After choosing the desired folder, it's time to kick the pedal. And within no time, the recovery process is complete. Let's check, so open the destination folder. You can see all the video files. It's not possible for me to play one by one, so let's open any one of the videos. As the videos are all working, the software is good to go. The software is amazing, but the catch is it is not free. It'll cost you around $46 a month and around $60 a year. But for students, they are giving a 40% discount. They can get its lifetime version for only $43. I know it is quite a lot for some of you guys. So if you're feeling particularly broke, you can try System Restore. It's like a time machine for your computer, allowing you to go back to a previous point in time when your file still existed. Just be warned, because it might undo any other changes you've made since then. So there you have it, my broke friends. With these tips, you can recover your permanently deleted files without damaging your bank balance. There you have it, my broke friends. Remember, even when it feels like you're living on ramen noodles, there's always a way to get back what you've lost. Just don't forget to back up your important files regularly, because as they say, a stitch in time saves nine, or at least a few bucks. Take care, guys, as life is too short to argue. Don't forget to subscribe.